Good morning, everyone. Magandang umaga for the Philippines. Um, we are here today with Kim Barthel to learn more about these two very special sessions that we have created for Connected and Relationship Matters. Um, the first talk is for parents and caregivers, which will start on June 27th. It's every other Saturday, entitled Parenting, the most important role in the world. Our second talk, it will be for professionals who work with children. It will start on July 8th, every Wednesdays for four sessions, uh, which is entitled, What Will I Do in the Clinic? Whether online or in person, clinical reasoning matters. So before we start talking with Kim, I'd like to introduce her. Um, so, with this small preview about these two topics, Kim Barthel, a world-renowned speaker and occupational therapist with over 35 years of experience in sensory processing, neurodiversity, attachment, and trauma-informed practice. So with Kim, we have created these two sessions. So we'll start with the parenting uh, series. So, Tell me about this three-part series that came about and how can this series help parents? Mm. The intention of the topic, parenting the most important job in the world, is for all parents. Irrespective of whether you have a child with neurodiversity or a child without neurodiversity. And it's to address parenting from the inside out. Conscious parenting is when we parent from a place of deeply understanding ourselves. And so this series is intended to invite parents to connect to parenting in as deep a way as they possibly can. Wow, that is definitely beautiful to hear that we're trying to create something that's involving everyone. So there is a concern that because one of the topics is about special needs. So does this mean that this particular topic or the series will also talk about special needs and children in general? Yes, that's a very good question because in the world, according to Kim, all of us have special needs. Every individual has uniqueness, diversity, and we all have ways of interacting in our family life that is about our attachment patterns. So one of the sessions is very much geared towards compassion, understanding why kids do what they do and responding from a compassionate, attuned place so that the child feels regulated, safe, and empowered. Wow, okay. So does this mean that we're not only talking about like the difficulties and the issues with children because parents are wondering if we're just going to be focusing on just behavior issues that they're dealing with and things like that. And I think every parent has experiences with their children. I mean, I, my daughter is now almost 25. So I think about my own experience as a parent. There's no manual. There, nobody wrote any instructions and we all weather different experiences with our children as they develop through the different emotional developmental phases of life that creates challenges and activates me and you based upon our own experiences of being children, of being youth, and now for me of being an adult child. So this is part of the human journey. And families with kids with behavioral challenges are no different. It's just that the activation, I'm using the word activation, emotional activation is often more obvious in those circumstances. Got it. So for parents who will be attending this, will there be uh, practical information or strategies that they can use with their children? Predominantly, Avery. This series is about self-reflection, self-awareness. And so the takeaways 
are not about, I go home and I do X with my child. Because that would be like an instruction manual. It's more about, what is it about this experience that I'm having with my child that results in this reaction within myself? And what can I do with myself to create a shift in my relationship with my child? This is much harder work, actually, in many ways. And not something that we talk about that often when we think about how do I support, how do I support my child? How do I support myself? And in this current pandemic, this is coming up a lot. No one is without the word trauma now. We are in the middle of a collective trauma and everyone is experiencing significant shifts in the way they experience the world. That's right, yeah. So from this perspective, can you like summarize the three topics, uh, Kim, for the parents? Well, let's start by, can you tell the parents what the first topic is? So our first topic is um, what does the behavior do in terms of um, what does it mean? Mm -hmm. So one of the statements that I make that I'm known for is there's always a reason for the behavior. What, why do people do what they do? And how is our actions and interactions part of how we keep ourselves safe in relationships? And how do we adapt our behavior, responses, emotions in relationships? And how does that affect us lifelong? And so the first sort of conversation, I use that word, is about exploring those underlying levels that sit in the brain. What does my nervous system result or contribute to my behavior? What is my environment? my family environment contribute to the way I respond? What is my cognition, my thinking processes? What do they contribute to how I understand and perceive my environment? So it'll give us a broader, more holistic perspective around people. And for the second one is a compassion towards our children with special needs. Well, being occupational therapists, most of the people that we are called in to support are people with diverse needs. But really at the heart of our profession is to help people become their best selves. And in my 30 some odd years of working with people, the greatest game changer is to find compassion, to be in a space of attunement, which means putting my mind in the mind of the other, which immediately softens how I respond to the people around me. Beautiful. Uh, and how do we support our children to be their best selves? That's our third session. And in a sense, it's a bit sneaky because how we support our children to be their best self is by becoming our best self. So topics of self-awareness, being aware of our blind spots in parenting, becoming aware of how to communicate, how to communicate with our kids in different ages, different stages, how to create boundaries with kindness, and how to support children in seeing themselves through the eyes of confidence, resilience, and lovingness. That's a lot to, to do in three sessions, isn't it? I know. That sounds so um, exciting and definitely interesting for um, the parents and even I as a professional, for sure. Uh, we're drawing to a close of our preview. Uh, would you like to add anything and invite our guests? Very much. I have a tremendous love for the Philippines. And so I am excited to be spending some time with you in these two beautiful series and also for families from all across Asia who are interested in exploring this idea of consciousness and parenting. 
So having been in Asia, worked in Asia for the last 15 years now, it's a part of my love. And I look forward to spending time with each and every one of you. All right. So thank you so much, Kim, for spending time with us today. Again, the parenting series uh, will start on June 27. Um, and the what do I do in the clinic for the professionals will start on July 8th. So please don't forget to check our uh, Facebook page, Connected uh, Philippines Center for Global Education and Training. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much, Kim, for spending with us today. And thank you, Connected, for making this possible. Thank you so much.